Creating a physical camera, the broke depth of field rollout. Let's select our physical camera. Let's go up um, to our modify tab in our command panel. And let's go down to our, if we scroll down, down here to our broke depth of field. First thing is we can set the, and what is this essentially is what's blurry and what's not. Okay, so we're going to have, if it's circular, then we're going to have a round aperture, and the blurriness will be on generally on the outside. If it's bladed, we can set how many blades, and the blurriness goes around the blades, and we can rotate those blades if we like. So, so the so we pick the aperture style, and you know traditionally that's round. We can pick a custom texture. Custom textures we can draw a shape, uh, such as a, a heart or a star, and 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 make that our shape. So everything outside of the star, outside of the heart, is blurry. And so when we come down to our center bias, the ring effect, if we move it towards a positive number, then we're putting more of the image out of focus. So the, the higher the number is, the more the image is out of focus. And then if we go towards a lower number, uh, towards a negative 100 or positive 100, then more the image is in focus. All right. So here we have the optical vignetting or cat's eyes. And this gives it a cat's eyes effect. Uh, so it'll be elliptical instead of round uh, if we do this. So the more we go to the right, the more cat eye effect. Um, down here in anthroscopy, it's uh, here we are setting this to be a, an ellipse shape. Uh, and the ellipse shape can either be uh, vertical or horizontal. And this uh, gives it uh, a very thin uh, elliptical shape. And then, of course, around the outside of that shape is some blurriness. So this is all about the depth of field of what's blurry on the, on the outside of the shape and what's focused on the inside of the shape.